Alrighty. YouTube, what's up? We got the Kale mid. What are we facing? Rise. Let me see your cooldowns. Is there any reason why we're not- Wait, 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 wait. I don't like this already. <clears throat> Here's your cooldowns. Three, two, one. Go and auto him. Go and auto him right now. Go auto him. You see- Do you see this? Look at this. Dude, he- He needs to auto creeps, right? So go and pressure the way- Go and pressure him. Push him in. Fuck him up. He's got to fight creeps right now. So go and beat his ass. Pressure, pressure, pressure confidence, dude. Every game, ticking time bomb. Good pressure there. Now range creeps. Always range creeps first if you can. Good dodge. Pot should have already been running back when you were at. Should have been running here. There's no point to not. Keep yourself topped off and keep the pressure on. First five minutes. Most important five minutes of the game. Be super efficient. Think like, uh, think you're playing like StarCraft or something. You ever play StarCraft? If your build orders aren't very efficient. Then we're never going to hit our timings cleanly enough to take advantage of someone who's weaker than us. So here, Rise is weaker. I can't believe you don't flash there. Uh, interesting back window, but I understand why you did it. You were very scared of Evelyn. I can see that. No. The flash was just unnecessary. He's an idiot for flashing. So, like, you're flashing after him. He made an ignorant flash. He has heal. Anyways, he could have used that if he wanted to get away. But regardless, you didn't need to flash after him here. You could have just accepted that he ta that he flashed and just pushed the lane in. If we hadn't wasted our flash, we could have secured a kill probably on Evelyn there. Why, that pathing? Were you path through here? Look what you do. You needed to turn your ass around. You are incredibly lucky that, um... You, I, you're incredibly lucky that this isn't worse. Right there. Like, he should have walked right at you uh, and pressured you even harder than that. So you shouldn't have been walking in the front of the minions like that. Oh, that last, uh, that auto was weird. Um, your ult was fine there, considering he doesn't have flash, so then you can use Volibear to body block, and he does. Let's go back in time. After you've secured the kill, this would have been a good spot to back, in my opinion. If you weren't going to press up, but you see how you hesitate and you don't back and you don't push? You're not really doing yourself any favors here other than setting yourself up to be stuck in a lane with Rise with full mana. 
Uh, so we really want to either shove or back. We don't want to be standing in lane here. So I would much rather us, after we get the kill on Rise, just reset the lane so that we can come back in the lane and pressure this dude again. But watch what's going to happen now. Since we didn't back, we don't have any pressure. And now we're going to be stuck under our turret and Rise can shove and roam or shove and threaten us. And there it is. So now he's going to jam mid. Now we have to back. We're going to miss all this farm too because we stayed. We overstayed. There it is. All that XP wasted. Now we're back in lane. He might even back now. No, he doesn't back. He doesn't technically have to back. Ghost wasn't that bad. I'm surprised that Rise doesn't TP onto your head there. I hate that ult because I don't know what it does. Okay, you just need to trade damage there and just let him be stupid. So next time he pops up like that, um, let's go back. His I should explain more why that's a battle instead of just saying it's a battle. I should help you better. So here, it's level 7. There's no one in the game that can 100 and 0 you level 7 versus level 8. Um, anyways, and it's pretty much 100 and 0, right? You're sitting at like 85% HP or whatever, 80, 85%. When that guy jumps into you, you, you should be constantly checking people's levels anyways. I don't know why they don't show levels on this fucking scoreboard. It's annoying. But you should be checking people's levels and everything. When you're hitting the turret, you, as, as soon, guys, as soon as you hit the turret and start autoing it, you need to think, who can defend and how? Here's what I'm thinking. Lucian and Trundle are dead, so they're not coming. All right, Evelyn's invisible, so she's in my ass already. I are, uh, automatically assume if we don't see Evelyn, she's wedged right in between your butt cheeks. So she's in, she's in your ass and she's looking to engage on you. The thing that I'm more concerned about is I can see Cho'Gath, so we now know that the worst case scenario, this is the absolute worst case scenario, Rise will teleport on my head and Evelyn's going to be with him. Or she's going to be in my ass ulting me at the same time. Okay? Oh yeah, levels are on the portraits, that's true. So, worst case scenario, Rise TPs, Evelyn bends me over. And I have to alt to maybe try to trade with Evelyn and back up. That's worst case scenario. So as soon as you're planning for that, you see Evelyn show up. Well, you say, okay, that's just Evelyn. Rise isn't teleporting, then bam. That's how you would solve this push. And you would know in your brain, like, what to do. So you should know, okay, Evelyn doesn't have Ignite. We can check that. Evelyn might have ult. She's only level 7. I'm level 8. I can win this. And then uh, your confidence will go up. And you'll know what you want to do as soon as you see that person. You'll want to trade with them without just burning your ult like a Goomba. Because your ult should not have been used there. Now I want you to notice every time... Okay, Rise could press up on you for some reason he doesn't. You should be backing soon. Because this is how it, it should feel compromising. Like you should feel like because you are here with half mana, you can't really do much. And you notice that, right? That means that you should be backing sooner. Thankfully, you know, jungler's bailing you out a little bit, which is nice. Now we need to back. Cool. Okay, Leona lives. So pretty bad ignite. Not so fast. Jin ulting, which is cool. Big Evelyn ult. Uh... Oh, you were silenced. Ah, unlucky silence. Ringar re engages. Good things happen. 
Now we're A-ramming. Uh, I would be backing soon because we've A-rammed now for three minutes straight, pretty much. And we're just, we have no ult, we have no flash, we have nothing. They've come from base, you have not. So you're gonna die soon if you keep staying in these fights. And there it is. So, <clears throat> that's funny, right? When fights go our way and we win a trade, back and reset. You have a problem with not backing. You have the not back syndrome, dude. The no backs. The no backitis, dude. No backitis. I like that you go top. Personally, when my team's a ramming, I love to just split and get levels. It's a lot more reliable because no one pushes turrets fast enough anyways. Good pressure on the Cho'Gath. He can't really do anything unless he combos you. Turn that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Next time, trade damage back. So here, you're gonna, you're gonna ult and then you're gonna ghost. Now, go and trade damage. Here, you need to turn, Q, auto this guy out as he leaves. Because Volibear was coming and so was Rengar, so I don't like that you don't help there and get more done. No back itis, dude. Rise has got a deficiency and decides he's going to walk in front of 10 of us. Wait, what's this? Your team's diving and you're going towards mid? Why? Alright, let's... This tower is a fifth HP and we leave randomly while Jin's ulting. You don't like Jin ult, so why not just go back and secure that tower? That music untilts me, dude. Okay, so you run down there. You don't have your ult up. Trundle's gonna whoop your ass, dude. He's had enough of your shit. Look at him. Look how pissed he is, dude. Wow, he's not gonna stop. So, yeah, that's why you might as well just take top and help your team out there and just deal damage to the turret or whatever. As opposed to what you did. Good, we win that trade. Okay, that. I Yeah. Just just back. Like you got you got the win there. Just, just reset. Just take a chill pill. Just just relax. Just you got the beat you beat up Evelyn. It was it was a good trade. Just reset and buy some more items. You're a late game champ anyways, so you know there's no rush, dude. No point of trading. I mean you don't really want to trade with Rise anyhow. Help me cure my no back itis. Yeah, dude, you got it. You got no back itis, dude. You got no back. You got no back in you, dude. Wow, this... Is that Nate the Mexican, dude? He's killing it. He's on a killing spree. 
Alright, so you just saw a fight in your jungle. Do you have a plan with this push? Not really. Or do you? Wow. You do get out. And then Trundle's BMing you, dude. Alright, let's go back here. So, Volley Bear goes in. Look at how you're just standing here right now. You should be, when he's going in, you should be going in. Your positioning and like how far back you are is fucking circus music, dude. That's what I'm just going to start calling it. Fucking circus music. You finally get into the fight and do your damage. You're late to the party. And then you keep beating the shit out of this fucking troll guy. Who ult running, dude. Just fucking whacking away. Or is that... You're working on the railroad. What's that fucking... You guys know this shit. You guys know the chain gang shit. That's what's happening, look! <laughs> Working on the fucking... <laughs> you were hitting that guy so long, dude. <laughs> People started singing fucking chain gang music. <laughs> That's what it was, dude. <laughs> oh, jeez. I felt like I just did a bit in prison watching that shit, man. Fuck me. Yeah. Oh, that was great. Oh, it's good. It's so good. I'm sorry. I, just in the future, Volley Bear engages. You need to be like when he's going in. You need to be like in his butt and make sure that when he flips somebody, you're you're around and you're able to deal damage. And then when the fight broke out, you should have kind of cheated a little bit further and try to deal damage to people in the back line if you can, um, instead of just focusing the trundle. That guy needs to die, like, immediately. What? 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 Okay, the ult doesn't need to happen at all. There was no threat there. Keep your ult, please. Level th Basically, the way you, you judge this, level you're level 13, he's level 10. Do I have more level? I have three levels more than this guy? This guy's shit to me. That's how you should view it. I don't have to use anything to kill this guy. Very simple. It'll build your confidence up. Meanwhile, that's the biggest show gap I have ever seen. Oh, 
Although in all seriousness, I just thought of Cho'Gath with Colossus. It seems like that could be pretty fucking good. For real. Whitsend versus these guys. Maybe versus Cho'Gath, but that's about the only argument that I can have for it. I don't think anybody builds Wits End on Kale, though. That's a good point. Yeah, if I were you, if I were you, I would probably just stick to the Nashers, dog. Instead of Wits End. If only you were there, dude. Wow, they are just fucking... What a war. Yeah, I agree. I don't think, I, I think Nashers would be better here. Nashers Hurricane's pretty good. I think you you are gonna get to Nashers eventually though, it looks like. Just too slow. We can fight that guy if you want. Just FYI. If you wanna go for it. Notice how you have a little window if you want to blow this dude up. And uh, never mind. You don't have to challenge him there. Pushing's good enough. Just keep getting bigger so you can 1v9. How did this happen to us? How did we get here? We path around. Okay, dude. First things first, let me go back. This pathing makes no sense. So where are you going with Rengar? Mid is pushing, there's three people pushing mid and you path like right in, look at how you path. You path to them, straight, straight line. But like, look at the heads on the mini map, dude. There's no way this goes our way. It just can't. See what I mean? Just get in front of the wave, dude. Just get in front of the wave. That would make life a lot easier for you in that spot. That's a giant Cho'Gath. Yeah, you're pathing. You should have just pushed around to the turret here. You just forget where your turrets were. That spot. At least your kale name is Cracker, dude. Cracker too, dude. Let's turn on your fog so I can see why we get caught. So here, <clears throat> you're pushing deep into enemy territory. We have no vision of anyone but Rise. I actually don't mind this push, except right here is where you should have stopped, but you kept going. You didn't have any other vision. So you should start backing. You should have already started backing here, and now you push out. Now, when you tell on yourself... Alt needs to come out. Oh, too slow. But yeah, until we see more bodies, we can't push. So you should have stopped right there and worked your way backwards until you saw more heads and then decided what you wanted to do. Shut 
Pretty soon they're gonna get barren. Chogaf's throwing, which is super nice. Cool. Baron? No, no Baron? You could definitely ping Baron there. You have a comp to do it. Two people dead. You could definitely look for it. Force a 3v4 at least. Okay, I hate how we play this. Alright, this is basically you in a nutshell, dog. We're we're we've got a lot of work to do on our kiting. This is what should have happened. Stacks are building up. You're gonna ult right now, you're gonna ult, and you're going to fucking ghost, and you're going to kill this Lucian, and then you're gonna run away. But you let him beat your ass, you don't target Lucian at all. It should have been ghost, ult, and you go on Lucian. You are late on your ult, then you ghost to run away. And then you, this whole time, even though you've spaced back out and you've got people in front of you, you're still running away, dude. And then when you finally join in the fight, it's almost already over. And then you get munched. And then... Uh, I think it's, yeah, Rangar gets munched, and then that's GG, dude. Oh, wow. They're, they're going to die off of that. That's funny. Wow, that melee Jindo. Yeah, you do like beating up the trundle too, that's true. Elder Dragon's a little easier to take now. So we have that going for us. Ghost in 30, which I like to see. <laughs> you hold the, uh, the game almost ending, which is cool. You're gonna go to Baron, but you're gonna lose the game. Because trundle's just gonna backdoor. Run out there and fight, quickly. What is this bronze fucking game? You should be resetting, or pushing out the wave is good. No, don't chase. No, you're gonna die. You don't have your ult, you're going crazy. And then the game ends. So, um, that's on you. You could have stopped Rise. Uh, I guess this is where it ends because I don't see anything beyond that. But after you push this wave out, you needed to back instead of chasing Lucian. You needed to back and defend until your inhibs back. Oh, that's how it ended. Okay. Uh, you probably wouldn't have you probably wouldn't have been able to defend anyways, but you needed to back up and wait. So, dude, there's a lot, a lot of stuff that we could do better. Uh, the ma the main thing that I see with you is kiting, and one thing that we could talk about before I shut this down is a left click, dude. A plus left click. So basically, if you press A on your keyboard and left click at people, that's going to put you in the maximum range at all times. And you can then right click to reposition and then A left click when you want to attack. And you're always going to be at maximum range on Kale. Part of your problem this game was you weren't you weren't synergizing with your engages with your volley bear very often. Um, you oftentimes focus tanks. And then in some of the fights, you would just waste your ult, or you would waste your flash, or you waste this, you waste that. So you're very, very sloppy. I would not recommend going into ranked yet. 
I would recommend mastering your kiting, getting better at the, the positioning and all that shit. Alcomedin, thanks for five months. So, um, that's the biggest issue that I have with you right now. It's just your, di like your spacing and your autoing. Kale is like a hybrid ADC mage thing. And the other thing is your itemization with Kale was very, very weird to me. Uh, it didn't make a lot of sense. This thing is glitching. I guess it glitches at the end of the replay. Shame. Uh, but you definitely should be going Nashers uh, before Wits End or whatever the hell you did. And beyond that, dude, focus on that shit. The kite, like getting the kiting better. Like always working towards like dancing on that zone line. If there's a champion near you, let's just say, uh, let's zoom ahead here. These plays that you started making, um, you, these with your alt uh, would make a lot more sense sooner, but you weren't doing that very often in this game. You were either late to the engage or you were uh, focusing the wrong people or, you know, whatever. So I can't tell you more than to just practice A clicking and to be more confident when you have level leads. Don't just blow your ult like a, a lunatic. Hold your ult for a second. Be confident. Turn in on people. But understand that like i should be blowing my ult when people actually have the potential to kill me not just blowing my ult on targets that are three levels ahead of me and stuff like that kale's very one-dimensional you farm you push you ult smartly and then you repeat 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 it's not going to hard carry your games like a high mobility champ but it's certainly going to be a positive impact over a game long term if you farm well and you kite properly so uh yeah stop working the fucking chain gang hit the back line and uh, use smarter ults and summoners, and that's going to go a long way with you from what I've seen. All right, YouTube, thank you so much for watching. It's a very entertaining replay. I love you. Like, subscribe, all the bullshit. I'm out. Peace. Cracks, thank you so much. Bye.